we get people that come to us for custom designs all the time. They'll have a picture of something that they want to have made that's unique. I believe the first process we start is figuring out what you have stone-wise, what we can do, going through our molds and models and seeing if there's something that catches your eye from this one or that one that your stones could fit in or maybe even looking and seeing the design that we already have set up and asking whether your stones could be made to fit that particular style that we have there. And then if you can think it up, we can make it. We make a rubber mold like this by vulcanizing rubber around the piece. Then we cut it back out and we form this end here to be able to put on the nozzle of the wax injector. Then we'll take the wax from this rubber mold, size it to whatever size their ring finger is, do any modifications or whatever that would have to be needed to take their stones to the wax. Then we would put it in an investment, which is a plaster paris, withstand up to 2,000 degrees without breaking down, which is porous so that you can suck air through it so that when our vacuum machine, casting machine, has got the vacuum on it, it sucks the air out of the vestment in the crucible area for the, the gold to go in. And then we pour the metal into the, the cavity after the wax has been burned out at 1,350 degrees for two and a half hours and then we bring it down to a temperature of a thousand degrees to cast it in. Then we have a ring when we're done there that we have a raw casting that we can start cleaning up and polishing and putting stones in and finishing up the product. And we have windows here for the public to see what we're doing at the benches so they can actually see the work like being shown here. We take the, the time and to do things like round the beads and make sure that they're good and tight on the stones so that the stones are secure. The family's been in the business for three generations. We've been here in Milan for 24 years. 